When I was new to Valorant, I never noticed any FPS drop. Slowly begin to understand the game and then I realized my game was stretching when playing in a duo. Sometimes I thought my PC was not working properly and other times it felt like a network issue. Strange thoughts would occur to me like wishing I had a PC like Shroud. <laughs> yeah, boy. Of course, I practice a lot on my aim and I have good aim but still I would lose duos uh, due to some issues somewhere. Then I realized let's optimize my PC for Valorant and I did everything since I considered myself as a tech expert, I deeply studied stretching and after monitoring everything I started optimizing. I'm going to share this tutorial with you all in today's video. Make sure to watch the video until the end because I have included some additional tips that might be helpful for you. Before starting this tutorial, here were my specs when I was facing stretching and of course it's not that bad, alright? Uh, you might be thinking the same. Let's start. Okay. CPU and GPU requirements and optimizations when a game lags or stretching the first two things that comes into mind are the CPU and GPU. I did the same start with the CPU first I check if my CPU and GPU meet the requirements for Valorant which you can easily find on the official website and it was enough. Now I understand that I need to tweak the CPU and GPU settings for better performance. After some research, I found a trick that worked for me. Let's start. So the number one power option and process infinity. Let's start by customizing power plans to make sure your CPU is running optimal. So the first thing you need to open the control panel. Now simply you need to go into the hardware and sounds and of course the power options. Now here you need to select the balance recommendations. That's it. Now many pupils might ask how the power balance settings will provide good performance when the high performance option is usually recommended for gaming. I understand and here's a quick explanation of why I'm choosing the balance option. When you keep it on balance your windows system will distribute resources evenly among all tasks however at the same time we will manually set Valorant to a higher priority class this means that windows will allocate maximum resources to Valorant while keeping other tasks in a balanced state. So let's start. Setting process affinity. Now let's manually assign tasks to specific CPU cores for improved multiple tasking. Open the task manager by pressing the control shift plus escape button. I'm using basically for control alt and delete button and then task manager or you can simply open it just right click on the task bar and open the task manager. Once you go over there now simply go into the detail and here you need to find your game first. Suppose this is the Valorant right now uh, I'm not playing the Valorant so just right click on it and click on the set affinity. Now make sure select all the cores and then click OK. Once you have done this now let's move further. Windows registry tweak. Before we dive into the tweak let's navigate the registry and create a backup. Just click on the windows icon and search for registry editor and open it. Once you open the registry editor, just click on the file and then export and make a backup. It's important before tweaking into the registry files, make a backup. Once you have done this, now simply let's begin. So, HKey local machine, then software, and then of course Microsoft, expand it, Windows NT. Just press W until you will get here the Windows NT and then expand it. Then current version and expand it. Once you expand the current version, now image file execution option. Just press I key until you will get here the image file execution option. Once you get the image file execution option, just expand it and find your Valorant. As I said, I have already done these setups for myself so you can do it for yourself. Now expand the Valorant. And then right click on it and go into the new and then string value. Once you create a string value, you need to set here the name P R I O R I T Y C L A W S and hit enter. Now, as I said, I have already done it over here. So I'm not doing it again. It's over here. Then double click on it and type here hi. H is capital and I G H. 
and please make sure to type the exact spelling with capital and small letters after doing this now just close it now on the next step fine tuning system scheduler now we will optimize task distribution in the registry file again so again i'm going into the registry editor and now this time we are closing this now again let's start from this computer h key local machine then here you need to go into the system and then here you need to go into the current control set expand it and now and then control expand the control and now here you need to find the priority control and just press p until you will get here the priority control once you go over there on the right side you will see here a file the name win32 priority separation now in some operating systems you will see here the two files and in my case it's only one so just double tap on it and put here the value data too now by default it's something like 30 to 40 between this uh, might be higher or lower but you need to put here the two value and then close it now there are some bios settings that can definitely boost performance but i won't include them into this video as it might make the topic too lengthy the video is already uploaded and you can find the link in the description so what are you waiting for Go watch it now and then come back for further instructions or if you prefer you can apply these changes first and and then head over there gpu optimization for valorant now since the gpu is crucial for gaming after the cpu let's optimize it first however i won't go into the excessive explanation to avoid wasting your time if you have any question feel free to ask them in the comment section and don't forget to follow me as we optimize it for valorant in the gpu department there are two important things the control panel and the gpu own optimizer tool i'm using nvidia and there's two files the one is nvidia control panel and the other one is nvidia geforce first let's talk about the nvidia control panel let's optimize actually open the nvidia control panel adjust image settings with preview now here i'm going with use my preference emphasize and hit apply now there's a logic before optimizing into the more detail you need to set use my preference emphasize as i said it's a logic definitely we are going with this option later on of course we are going with the manage 3d settings but before when you apply that globally your setting will be changed now go into the program settings and add your valorant over here i have already added so just copy these settings image scaling of ambient exclusions not supported for this applications and strophic filtering application control and stra and and utilizing fx aa off and utilizing gamma correction off and utilizing mode application controlled and uh, utilizing settings use global settings non utilizing transparency use global settings off background explanation max frame rates off now here you notice that use global settings off use global settings none these settings are actually we set it before when we set like here you can see when we put this option use my preference emphasize for maximum performance when you apply this settings so these settings will automatically adjust it now background application max frame rates turn it off coda gpu all low latency mode i'm using it on you can use it on ultra it's your preference in some cases it's work perfectly on ultra but middle way is on now max frame rate of multi frame sample triple a off now these things are off because we definitely adjust these settings in game open gl gdi capability prefer performance OpenGL rendering GPU and of course select here the NVIDIA sometimes you are using the internal GPU as well so you need to clarify this option as well power management more prefer maximum performance prefer refresh rate highest available texture filtering on uh, texture filtering negative load bias allow texture filtering quality high performance 
if you are getting already a good fps then you can go with the performance one but in my case high performance is better for me texture filtering trillion optimizations on threading optimizations on triple buffering of okay now these are the basics vertical sync use the 3d application now vertice, uh, vertical sync use the 3d application settings so basically when i turn it on in game it will work otherwise it will not work because here i set it according to my application preference now virtual reality pre-rendering frame is one you can go with the two or three if you face stretching more but don't go much because you skip the frame rates okay volcan opengl pre present method use here the prefer native only for valorant otherwise if you don't know set it on auto these are the best settings for valorant and hopefully after applying these settings your stretching will be removed i guess 100 percent for me okay now one more thing it's just a tip you can go here here's that option okay digital vibrance set it on 70 percent for better experience the graphic colors etc anyways after doing this now let's talk about the geforce now geforce is important as i said for optimizing in game settings you can manually optimize as well but it's more better you can optimize through the geforce why i'm recommending this i'll show you before applying these settings now the current settings you can see i have applied over here and especially the reflex is one plus boost in game that's the current setting but what actually geforce suggesting me let's see oh lot of things changed as you can see reflex is now on not on plus boost so that's why geforce is more better what you need for better performance only the developers and of course the tool that comes with your graphic card knows then you don't copy others now let's go into the valorant the optimization made a noticeable difference for me and hopefully for you now let's move on to the additional tips and sorry i'm not including the videos optimizations i have already mentioned the windows optimization tutorial link in the description go ahead check it out for more stable fps okay before additional tips you can see now my settings are automatically adjusted for better performance the first thing you can see here the uh, show mature content is turned off automatically and if we go into the video settings everything is perfectly adjusted and nvidia reflex low latency is now on it's not on plus boost it's now on for better uh, performance and in the graphic quality you can see everything is adjusted according to your best optimized optimization tool which is of course the geforce thanks for geforce adjusting the best settings for best performance now one more thing i'm gonna discuss here network buffering let's talk about tips first and then we will cover this uh, segment as well i was using eight gb of ram but upon monitoring i found that windows was reserving 4 gb leaving only 4 gb for cashier or game usage this was frustrating so i upgraded to 12 gb which fixed 50 percent of the stretching however i also encountered network buffering issue after some research i found solution setting network buffering to the maximum cause significant stretching while setting it to minimum result is fucking packet loss in this situation using the medium setting is the best option i won't go into too much detail here as the video is already quite a long but if i were to put it simply using network buffering at medium is the most balanced choice if you want to understand packet loss in more detail and this network buffering situation in more detail the link is given below in the description once you grasp it you will be able to find a solution i trust you are uh, smart enough to figure it out for two days this is all i have see you in the next video till then take care allah hafiz and yes don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful please share your feedback it would make me happy Bye bye